Hey, this is Josh Satin. You're listening to the Passive Investor Show. The views and opinions provided on this show are for informational purposes only and should not be misinterpreted as an offer to buy or sell any securities or to make or consider any investment or course of action. For more information, please go to PassiveInvestorShow.com. Hey, PI listeners, this is John Fortes. I'm making it a point to speak to as many investors as possible. My goal is to position myself to be a blessing to my network through conversation. How could one be a blessing through conversation? The easy answer is by listening. A simple conversation can open many opportunities and doors. I always ask myself this, what do I have to lose by having one more conversation? Going back to high school, I've connected friends and family in my network to one another, even if it didn't benefit me and I continue those same principles and practices. Why? Because it's the right thing to do. If I can't help you, I probably know someone or something that can probably solve your problem. I'd love for you to become a part of that network. Go to www.johnfortes.com, create your investor profile, and schedule a call. How can I best serve you through conversation? In the words of Clarence the Angel from It's a Wonderful Life, no man is a failure who has friends. And now, the Passive Investor Show. Here's your host, John Fortes. Welcome, PI listeners, to the Passive Investor Show. I'm the Passive Investor Consultant, John Fortes your host of the only ranked podcast for passive investors in multifamily syndications and real estate funds. Our goal and purpose of this show is to be a resource to investors and help them master their passive investments by beating inflation 1% at a time. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Just in case you didn't get enough of Josh Satin, we brought him back for our infamous quick hitter investors 101 series. Josh is the VP of acquisitions of Gelt. And if you want to learn more about him, revert to our previous episode. Josh, it's great to have you back. Thank you for your time. Thanks, John. Happy to be back. Awesome. Awesome. Real quick, 3,000 foot overview. Why did your firm decide to shift from mobile home parks into apartments? So we started in apartments in 2010, 11, had some success and saw in 2016, 17, that there was a I don't call it a glitch in the market, but we thought there was opportunity in the market to where apartment cap rates were at, you know, five and a half, six and mobile home cap rates were at eight, nine, 10. So we thought it was a great supplement to our apartment portfolio in which we could buy these highly cash flowing assets. So if a cap rate nine and you're borrowing at four and a half percent, you know, you're cash flowing 12, 13, 14, 15 percent. So we thought that was a great supplement to our apartment portfolio where, you know, there was some cash flow, but um, you know, half cash flow, half appreciation. What we found is that we were very right for a year or two, but after a, a year and a half or so, we weren't the only ones that figured this out. And the business became really flooded with investors and cap rates slowly decreased from nine to eight to seven. And, you know, by the end of our run in the mobile home park industry, cap rates were equal to or lesser than apartment to apartments. And that's been really add up for me. That was historically low. You know, there, there are great qualities in mobile home parks, but they're also pretty small. You know, when you're a growing company, bigger is better. Both for your investors, I think you get economies of scale. And both for us, you know, the bigger the deal, the more, the more money we make. So we decided to transition back out of the mobile home park business. We sold everything. And the real reason was because I didn't think that pricing made as much sense as it did when we started. And I thought the competition was vast. You know, we really never were experts in the mobile home park business. We just saw an opportunity, whereas we think we're experts in, in the apartment side. So if the opportunity is the same, I wanted to steer us in, in, into what we thought we were experts at, and that's the, the apartment side. And I love it. I love how you're just staying with your focus, staying with what you know, and you're divested out of one to go with what you really know. Man, thank you for sharing that, man. My pleasure. Yeah, I mean, real estate, the best part, one of my favorite parts about real estate is you can become an expert at something because you should do, you can do the same deal over and over again, just in different locations. And, and I felt like mobile home parks, while it was great when the opportunity was gone, it kind of distracted us and we just never got that expertise. And so, you know, we, the focus is, is really key. Like you said. Awesome. Awesome. 
Josh, how can we stay in touch with you? Shoot me an email, josh at geltink.com, J-O-S-H at G-E-L-T-I-N-C.com, or you can check out our website at geltink.com. Thank you for stopping by today again, Josh. We really enjoyed the conversation. My pleasure, John. Thanks. Don't forget to download your free copy of the Investment Tracker. It allows you to track up to five investments, compare sponsors, markets, and most importantly, projected versus actual returns. To get your copy, go to www.projectedreturns.com. PI listeners, thank you for listening. As always, we hope this was the best resource for your investment strategy, but also the best use of your time. Remember, if this episode helps you, you can help us by leaving a review on iTunes. I hope you feel compelled enough to share it with someone you think this would resonate with as well. As much as it pains us to leave you, but you know what time it is. Time to go put this into practice. Till the next time we meet, happy investing. PI listeners, I'm grateful for your time and I appreciate you for listening. It would mean the world to me if you went to iTunes and left a rating and written review. Let me know how you feel about the show. It really makes a big difference with getting the podcast out there. Don't forget about our Facebook group, where all of our guests are members of. I'll be there to answer any of your questions, or even questions you might have for future guests. Subscribe so you can get the latest episodes and our fan favorite quick hitters. Finally, I want to keep you updated, so head over to johnfortes.com and sign up for the newsletter. If you're interested in partnering with me, sign up on the contact page so you can talk to me directly. I look forward to connecting with you. Happy investing.